Hello lovely dancers, my name is Aisha and welcome to belly dance tutorials. If you are thinking of starting to learn belly dancing, this is the right place. Um, this is the third video in a mini series about introduction to belly dance, where I focus on basic isolations, which is the foundation of belly dancing. So uh, if this is the first time you're seeing this video, please uh, go back and check out my two other videos in the Introduction to Belly Dance playlist because this is a continuation of those. In the first one, I did the uh, slides, horizontal slides, left and right and up and, and um, front and back. In the second video, I did the uh, circles and today we're going to focus on lifts and drops. So as I said before, we divide our body in three main parts, head, uh, ribcage and pelvis. And um, we, teach, um, we teach them how to move in different planes, from left to right, from uh, front and back, up and down, independently from the other regions. For this class, we're going to focus on the ribcage and on the hips. And we're, we're going to do the vertical lifts and um, the vertical lifts and drops. So let's get going with the rib cage. So for the rib cage area, we're going to start doing the rib cage lift, and then we're going to do the lift uh, rib cage drop. First of all, start with a basic posture in belly dance. I have a video on that. Knees are slightly bent. Um, pelvis slightly tucked in, chest lifted, and we're going to do the uh, chest lift and back to neutral. So our chest plate comes up toward the chin. We, we don't want to raise the chin, the chin stays at the same level, so we're bringing our chest plate closer to the chin. So that will be a chest lift. All right, just lift. So we try to push the chest as high as you can from the back muscles, yeah? And then back to neutral. Up and neutral, up and neutral, up and neutral. Okay, let's put some music to have more fun with this. Basic posture. You can have your uh, arms, your hands on the hips or out there in the basic uh, standard posture. So we lift the chest and drop to neutral. Up and neutral. Up and neutral. Up and neutral. Up, up, up. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, you can put your um, hands on the head or lift your hair a little bit, yeah. So this is a little bit more challenging. So you develop strength in the back muscles and also flexibility in the spine. And let's do this a little faster. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right? Now, let's have fun with the drops. So from the neutral level here, we just drop the chest down and back up to neutral level. So now, when you drop it down, your shoulders will come forward a little bit, but don't let that happen too much. <laughs> so don't slouch here. Your shoulders will come forward a little bit, but just try not to close in, okay? And also when you do that, your belly will expand a little bit because the organs are pushed down and that's okay. It's okay to have a little belly in belly dance, all right? <laughs> so now neutral, down, neutral, down, neutral, down. When you do that, you use your intercostal muscles, ribcage muscles, and also your upper abdominals. These are also pulling your ribcage down, yeah? 
So it's not just the back muscles, it's not a lot of them, it's mostly ribcage muscles and the upper abdominals for this. Down, 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 down. All right, so let's do it a little faster. From neutral to down, neutral, down. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's try to combine them. So we will go all the way up and all the way down. Yeah? So from all the way up to all the way down. One, up, down, 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 up, down. Let's do it a little faster. One, two. One, two, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. All right, good. The downward movement are a little harder than the upward movement in general, not only for chest, but for all body parts. The mechanics is not exactly the same. It's slightly different. Um, however, they look more interesting. They are more used in belly dance than the upward movement. Um, and they are less uh, uh, predictable in dance. So yeah, we use the downward movement a lot. And, um, but they are slightly harder to do than the upward movement. All right, so let's move on to the hips now. Basic posture, knees bent. We're gonna lift one hip at a time one hip, one hip, one hip, by uh, extending and bending the knees. But the knees never go completely straight, so don't try to do that, don't lock the knees back. So they are straighter <laughs> or more bent, but they are not completely straight, straight, all right? So these are the hip lifts or hip locks, yeah. It's called a log because we lift and we stay there. So this is terminology. It's a lock or a lift. A pop is when you, when you lift and then immediately go down. So you don't stay in that, uh, in that position. Like this is a lock in the chest area and this is a pop. Same with hips, this is a lock. And this is a pop, 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 yeah? So we are learning terminology as well. So now we're focusing on the hip lifts, vertical hip lifts, one hip at a time. Let's do this a little faster. One, two, three, four. 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 Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. For more um, challenge, you can lift your arms up. Yeah. And let's try to step on this. So as I step, I lift the same hip. Step and lift the same hip. Knees are bent. I'm extending the working leg a little bit, but not too a complete straight position. So we're gonna step and lift. In the same time, step, 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 and now back. Step back, step, 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 step. All right, so let's do this a little faster, moving forward. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Now let's try 
the drops. <laughs> drops, uh, the hip drops are a little bit more tricky. We're gonna do uh, a drop movement. Even though the other hip is lifting, we are focusing on the working hip. And the working hip, this side on, in this case, is gonna go down. The knees are bent and the hip that goes down on that leg, you have the knee bent even more. You can say that the other hip is lifting, but when you focus on the working leg, it looks like a drop and not a, uh, as a lift on the other side. So drop, drop, drop. This leg, drop. This leg, drop. And see my knees are more bent than before. Drop, drop, drop. This is a drop in place. <laughs> I'm not traveling. Yep. The drops are a little easier when you travel. But for now, we just stand in place. Drop, 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 drop. Okay? Now let's try to step on this. So, as you step forward, you drop the same hip. Step forward and drop. Step forward, drop. Step forward, drop. Yeah? So your knees are bent and they are bent more than with the lifts. Lifts, okay? So drop, 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 drop. Now walking back with this hip, drop. Other hip, drop. Other hip, drop. Change, change, change change yeah so a little faster going forward drop 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 step 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 now we're going back step 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 drop 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 all right dancers practice the lifts and drops and they're gonna get better as you practice them more, you'll get more stretch in this area and more strength. <laughs> um, it takes a little bit of time for the movements to grow and to be more controlled. I hope you liked it. If you did, please uh, give it a thumbs up and come back to my channel for more tutorials like this. Until next time, keep shimming and see you next time.